Hi, and welcome back to another tutorial by IT Conflict Computer Repair in Austin, Texas. And today, I will be showing you guys how to replace the hard drive on a Dell Inspiron 1525. So, let's begin. The first thing we want to do is start off by closing the laptop screen, and let's flip the laptop on its screen, showing the bottom side. Anytime you begin working on any computer, any laptop, you want to start off by removing the battery. And the way we're going to do that here is just slide the battery over it on its release side, and the battery should just pop right out. Or, I'm sorry, slide right out. There it is. Let's put the battery aside for now. The first thing you want to do on this computer is the hard drive and all major components are going to be located, I believe, uh, 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 underneath this plate. Now, um, now, just taking a second look at this, I can see that the hard drive is located over here on the side where it slides out, just like most Dells. But I will just be opening this plate as well, just so you guys can take a quick look in here to see what's underneath. Now, I'm willing to bet that the RAM is underneath here, and if you wanted to do a RAM upgrade, this is where you'd do it. I'll probably make a second video for that. I'll just show you guys how to take it off, but we won't go any further from there. So, in this tutorial, in this tutorial we're going to be replacing the hard drive so what I'm going to be doing here is start off by going to these screws here on the side where the hard drive meets and unscrewing those two screws and give me one second here while we get that unscrewed let's see once they're unscrewed we should be able to just pop them out now I just did that a lot easier just by flipping the, the computer over and putting that out just like that now it's still not sliding out so I'm willing to guess that there is something else keeping it from coming out might have to open up the screen just a little bit for this to slide out oh there it is so I open up the screen a little bit I pop this up just a tad not being too rough with it and the hard drive unplugs and slides right out how easy is that, guys? This is a 250 gigabyte hard drive. If I wanted to upgrade the hard drive on this computer and reload the operating system, I would simply purchase a new hard drive, a SATA hard drive, because that's what this one is, and that's what this computer supports. Um, we would take this housing off from the hard drive by unscrewing it. And I'm going to pretend like we're going to replace this drive, even though I don't have a replacement drive to do this now and we're just going to remove these two screws in the side to release the hard drive from the actual housing just like that hard drive should come right out now let's pretend that I just got a new hard drive I'm going to put it in the housing I am now going to put the screws back on there oh let's see what did I do there it is line that up put the screws back on there and that shouldn't be too difficult this should be the easiest part of this entire process but I like to make things a little difficult sometimes for myself alright I'm a little shaky this morning I had uh, a couple videos I made earlier I didn't have enough coffee and in this video I probably had too much coffee but that's okay so I went ahead and put the screws back on there now I'm ready to put the hard drive back in and it should just slide in like so. You'll feel it snap in place. And you can put these two screws back on there to make sure that that hard drive is secured. Screws should just fit in. No problem. Screwed right in. And we'll put this last screw in here. And it screws right in. There we go. Hard drive is in place. The hard drive has been replaced. Um, it's in place and been replaced. We could have upgraded it, we could have done, we could have repaired it, we could have done data recovery, whatever we wanted to do with it, but it was that easy. We were two screws away from pulling this hard drive out, getting a new hard drive installed, and put it all in together within five minutes. So don't let anybody else tell you otherwise that this is a difficult process, because it's not. It was simple. So, I did tell you guys I was going to show you this plate and what's underneath this plate, and I was kind of 
regretting that I said that because I'd prefer to do this in another video. So rather than doing it now, what I'm going to do is tell you guys to watch my next video on replacing or upgrading the RAM on a Dell Inspiron 1525, and I'll actually put the link here so you can click the link and go to that video if you're interested in that. If not, it's okay. Um, so what we've done today is we replaced the hard drive on a Dell Inspiron 1525. I'm going to go ahead and put the battery back in there. Should snap in place. Batteries in lock position. And if we did everything right, we should just be able to turn the computer on. And the computer should just boot right up. Now if we did it incorrectly, it'll tell us that there is no boot device. But in this case, there is a boot device. So we should see it load Windows, and it says Microsoft Corporation loading Windows. We did it correctly. So if it was a new hard drive, you would have to install the operating system using this certificate of authentic. I'm sorry, certificate of authenticity, which is the COA sticker on the bottom of the computer, or sometimes underneath the battery. But you would use a Windows install OEM disk install the operating system using this key and you would be able to get a fresh brand new OS on this computer using a new hard drive and it would be a complete upgrade which would probably run you upwards to hundred two hundred dollars anywhere else and you did it in about less than ten minutes and saving yourself a lot of money and a lot of time so if you guys have any questions please leave them in the comments section on youtube.com forward slash IT conflict we're on Facebook, that's facebook.com forward slash IT conflict. We're also on Twitter, that's twitter.com forward slash IT conflict. And check us out on our website at www.itconflict.com. Computer repair in Austin, Texas. Thanks for watching, guys, and please subscribe.